Thanks for watching Three Pound Fishing, partnered up with these fantastic companies. All right, exciting times, folks. It's it's funny how uh, this episode is going to be a lot about this mount. We're going to catch fish. We're going to put some big fish in the boat. It's funny how live scope is kind of like an evolution, right? You learn and you go through the different qualities of uh, monitors, the GPS maps, then to the Ultra, and then you get to the 8600 series. This is a 16 inch 8600 series because of my previous mount i really couldn't use it because it was just a little bit too a little high so i went to cornfield crappie gear you saw that episode last time this is the first time we're going to get to use it on the on the water with this new mount brand new mark i think mark even told me i was the first one to get this mount uh, it's just it's pretty what we did was we lowered the bridge to only about two inches and now we have an adjustable mount that allows me to bring it from a low position for the seat and then if I want to use the casting seat, I can bring it all the way up what I'm used to for my casting seat. I have a choice now, which is going to be fantastic. So I'm going to keep it in the low position because today I want to try, I want to try it with the, uh, the seat. It also allows you to swivel to get the glare off the screen. So a big factor for us all, and we all realize it, that if you can swivel it just a little bit, you can get that monitor to move in a way that you don't have that glare from the sun. Big deal there. Then obviously a nice big ergonomical screw right here. I believe they're all making these guys there at Cornfield Crappie Gear. And what that allows me to do is I can remove this whole thing with it still attached to the monitor, which will make it a little easier on and off. So I can tell you right off the bat, this thing is stout. This is, I believe, a nine and a half pound monitor. That's how much that weighs. And believe it or not, people are putting 17, 22, 24 inch monitors on their boats. And I think this thing is huge. But let me show you, I'm gonna back it up here a little bit for you. Okay, so yes, I wanted a bigger screen. That's one of the factors, right? Number two though, is I always, I wanted two seat positions. So I want the lower seat position because sometimes the casting seat, and you know what I'm talking about, if you're on that water for eight hours, your back starts to hurt if you're just using a casting seat. So with this lower position, I should be able to use it very nice. That's like the perfect height. So I can jig around it, I can cast around it, and we're gonna give it a full run through today. We're gonna put some fish in the boat and we're gonna try this out. Let me just see if the monitor or the uh, trolley motor can get put in the water here. There it is. And we got it Velcroed down because we got it. All right, so here's the, look at that. So obviously I have to move this over to the left, but otherwise, that's pretty clean. And then we're gonna try the casting once we start fishing. So we're gonna start off in this mode and then we're gonna move to the casting seat and see how they work. So let's catch some fish. About to go on the boat. Let's do it. Oh, and there it is. First fish with the 16. First fish with the new cornfield crappie gear mount. First guest on three pound fishing. Man, I gotta tell you, I'm pretty excited. I'm gonna have to go get a little used to it but that's a good fish right there. Nice eater. He fired off at it. Boy, did he fire off at it. Those fish aren't moving that much. Gotta get used to this, this sitting position. But again, I like the idea that I have that option. We're gonna be trying it out for the first time with a guide trip tomorrow, how it's gonna work with, a, with another person in the boat. If you're interested in cornfield crappie gear, check them out here at their website. Man, they've got some great products. You gotta check them out and they're just, you know, they're innovative and they're willing to do a little bit of modification if you just need it. So hook up with Mark, awesome stuff. Now, we're not done yet. We've got to try out the casting seat. And you're going to see that I'm struggling just a little bit with this sitting down thing because it's just, to be honest with you, it's just not where I normally fish at. So those type of things take an adjustment and um, I'm sure I'll be working on that a little bit more during the tournament season. came a long way for it god dang good fish too all right so i have to admit i have to get used to sitting and casting it's not something that is natural for me right now that's for sure so we're going to try the casting seat now instead but that's a beautiful fish man it don't get much better than that look at that gosh dang anyway we're gonna let this guy go check it out here we go you gotta let him go let him grow All right, so this should be simple. Take my seat out. 
twist this guy up. That's got to be about the right height because my cord is at its max. Replace with a casting seat. Casting seat and it should be perfect. And what I made sure he did was he put it about four to five inches lower than my other unit so I could cast and jig right over it. Best of both worlds. Oh yes, perfect. Feels really good. Feels very natural. Well, because I've been fishing like this for the last, what, five, six years. But I need to get used to that sitting. Because I think long term, that's the way to go. But for tomorrow's guide trip, I'll probably go ahead and sit on a casting seat just because that's what I'm familiar with. But look how quick that setup was. Hornfield crappie gear. Man, they got their stuff together. Oh, baby. We found them. They're screwed up on this one. Boy, I'll tell you right now. Just a load of them. We don't have good boat control right now. We're going against the grain, which if you looked at that boat control episode, you know that we need our nose in the wind. But this is a good fish. This is a good fish right there. That's a good start. Sit from the casting seat. I gotta tell you, I'm very comfortable sitting up here, but I know that what long term it does. So, you know, it might be one of those deals where you start off on a casting seat and then in hour six or seven, maybe you bring it down to the, the regular seat. But Comment below, I'd like to know whether or not you use a casting seat or if you prefer to sit down on a regular seat. It's obviously what you get used to, but I think long term you have to do that seat because it's easier on the back. Oh boy, he came a long way for it. Big fish too, good sized fish here. Oh, that's our good fish there. Look at that, beautiful, beautiful fish. So while I was out here, my buddy Randy showed up. He was in one of our episodes back in the day and we're fishing together side by side. Uh, just enjoying the evening, obviously the wind is down and when you get one of these guys uh, in the middle of winter time, you gotta take advantage of it. So we were having fun catching fish and uh, he wanted to take a couple fish home and cook them up so uh, we were uh, out there looking for the looking for those schools while I was still trying not to mount there you go got the Sun going down fish coming up oh yeah baby good fish here this is a tank <laughs> That's a 14. <laughs> Check that out, folks. That's a slab. Gosh dang. I'm going to take a picture of this fish. This is a picture fish. Oh, baby. There it is. He's not as good as the last one, but he's still good. He's still fillet up nice if you wanted to keep him. This group right here is pretty, uh, pretty deep, and they're they're being very active. I usually don't fish for the ones on the bottom. Right now, the sweet spot is 12 foot. That's the sweet spot. Those are the feeding fish. These guys here are like a freaking 18 foot. There's a take. I got them. Whack! <laughs> I just play with them. You got one too. Double up. Double up. Good fish. Woo, baby! You gotta love winter fishing. Right there, folks. Good fish. I'll be able to make a throw though. So I'm gonna give a thumbs up to the cornfield crappie gear mount. That's awesome. Give him a call. Mark will hook you up. Great group of guy, group of guys there. Nate, appreciate him big time for helping me out. All the guys, it doesn't matter. So and Paula, she's a sweetheart. So is that dog. So thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Please subscribe. We out. Thanks for watching Three Pound Fishing partnered up with these fantastic companies.